Could a mere grain of salt be powerful enough to build empires and shape the course of history? Let's ponder this seemingly simple substance that has wielded immense power over millennia. Salt, far more than just a kitchen staple, has been a cornerstone of civilization. This crystalline mineral has seasoned our food and preserved our meats, but its impact extends much further. In the annals of history, salt has been a vital component in medicine, used to treat ailments and maintain health. Economically, it has been as valuable as gold, often serving as a currency itself, and has even been the basis for trade routes that crisscross continents. Biologically, salt is indispensable. It regulates fluid balance and conducts nerve impulses in our bodies. Without it, human life couldn't thrive. Civilizations have risen and fallen based on their access to this vital mineral. Now, let's journey back to ancient times, where the story of salt begins. In the cradle of civilization, salt was already a kingmaker. Long before empires rose and fell, this humble mineral was shaping destinies across the ancient world. Consider ancient Egypt, where the art of mummification relied heavily on salt. This wasn't just about preserving the bodies of pharaohs, it was a profound spiritual practice, ensuring safe passage to the afterlife. Salt particularly natron, a naturally occurring mixture, was essential in drying out the body and preventing decay, making it a revered substance in the rituals of life and death. But the influence of salt stretched far beyond the embalming chambers of the pharaohs. As civilizations grew, so did the need for resources that could not always be found locally. Salt became a vital trading commodity. It was so valuable that extensive trade networks, the precursors to the famed Silk Roads, were established. These salt roads facilitated exchange and interaction between distant cultures, carrying not just salt but ideas and innovations across continents. In the sprawling empire of Rome, salt was pivotal not just in cuisine but in economics and military logistics. Roman soldiers were sometimes paid with salt, a practice so ingrained in their economy that it gave us the word salary. This wasn't merely a method of payment, but a recognition of salt's worth, underscoring its role in sustaining the vast Roman military machine. From the Egyptians to the Romans, salt was not just a commodity, but a cornerstone of economic power. Imagine ancient roads where the white gold, salt, traveled across continents. These weren't mere dirt tracks, but lifelines, pulsing with the steady flow of caravans laden with one of the most sought-after commodities of the Old World. In Europe, these routes, famously known as salt roads, were more than just economic arteries. They were the backbone of civilizations, connecting distant peoples and empires. It was along these paths that cities sprouted, much like oases in a desert, each becoming a hub of bustling activity and cultural exchange. Towns like Salzburg, literally named after salt, owe their existence and prosperity to these vital trade paths. The impact of the salt roads extended beyond mere commerce. As traders moved from Venice to Timbuktu, they didn't just carry salt, they brought with them ideas, technologies, and cultural practices. Languages evolved, religions spread, and art and science flourished through the interactions facilitated by these journeys. The exchange of culinary tastes introduced new flavors to distant kitchens, forever changing local diets and food preservation methods. Moreover, the value of salt made these roads strategic points of control, often sparking conflicts and power struggles. Control over the salt roads meant control over the wealth they generated, leading to the rise and fall of local powers and influencing broader geopolitical landscapes. These roads didn't just carry salt, they were conduits of culture and catalysts for conflict. As the value of salt surged, so too did the tensions around it. In the tapestry of history, salt not only flavors our food, but also, quite frequently, our conflicts. The Middle Ages were peppered with what came to be known as the Salt Wars. These were not merely skirmishes over territory, but battles fundamentally fueled by the control and trade of salt. This precious mineral was a cornerstone of preservation and daily sustenance, making it as valuable as gold in many societies. In the Mediterranean, the rise of maritime republics such as Venice and Genoa was significantly buoyed by the salt trade. These city-states secured vast wealth and political power by controlling the salt pans of the Adriatic and the Mediterranean routes. Their fleets, loaded with salt, were as strategic as armies, 
ensuring economic dominance and creating a monopoly that other nations envied and eyed aggressively. Moving westward, France's relationship with salt was particularly tumultuous. The Gabelle, a draconian salt tax imposed in the 14th century, was one of the most hated taxes in French history. It varied wildly from region to region, creating not only a financial burden, but also widespread resentment among the populace. The tax was so despised that it required armed guards to escort salt deliveries, and smuggling became a common act of defiance. This oppressive tax highlighted the stark inequalities of the Ancien Regime and fermented discontent among the common people. By making an everyday necessity like salt expensive and difficult to obtain, the Gabelle sowed seeds of anger that would later blossom into the cataclysmic French Revolution. The very essence of salt, once a symbol of wealth and preservation, morphed into a symbol of oppression and injustice. Salt, so essential, became a symbol of oppression and a trigger for revolution. As we've seen, the impact of this humble mineral stretches far beyond our dining tables, embedding itself deeply into the crevices of history's most pivotal moments. Empires expanded, driven by the insatiable demand for salt. As the British Empire tightened its grip on various regions around the globe, nowhere was the strategic importance of salt more evident than in India. Under British rule, the colonial government took control of the salt production and distribution, imposing heavy taxes and asserting a monopoly that not only secured a vital revenue stream, but also exerted significant control over the local populations. In this charged environment, salt transcended its role as a mere commodity. It became a potent symbol of the colonial yoke. The most striking illustration of this was in 1930, when Mahatma Gandhi challenged the British salt laws through the Salt March. This 240-mile trek to the Arabian Sea was both a profound act of defiance and a masterstroke of political symbolism. Gandhi, along with thousands of Indians, made their way to the coast, where they produced salt from the sea, directly contravening British laws. The Salt March did more than just protest unfair taxation. It galvanized the Indian people and attracted global attention to their struggle for independence. The march became a pivotal moment in the larger Indian independence movement, highlighting not just the fight against salt taxes, but against colonial injustice at large. Thus, what began as a strategic control over a vital resource evolved into a significant chapter in the fight against colonial rule. From a resource to a symbol of resistance, salt continued to shape political landscapes. Today, salt still holds sway, though in different forms and contexts. As we traverse through the tapestry of history, the role of salt has evolved dramatically, especially in the realms of industry and health. Once a valuable commodity that empires were built upon, salt is now ubiquitous, thanks to the marvels of modern technology. The salt industry today is characterized by highly efficient mining and production methods. Innovations such as solution mining, where water is injected into salt beds to dissolve the salt before it is pumped out and evaporated, have revolutionized the way salt is extracted. These technological advancements not only increase the production rates, but also minimize the environmental impact of salt mining. Distribution 2 has seen a leap in efficiency. Sophisticated logistics solutions ensure that salt can be transported from mines to dining tables across the globe with unprecedented speed and efficiency. This global supply chain is a far cry from the arduous journeys made on the ancient salt roads. Shifting the lens to health, Salt story takes a twist. Once celebrated for its preserving qualities, today the conversation around salt is often centered on its health implications. Medical experts debate the impact of salt consumption on human health, linking excessive intake to conditions such as hypertension and heart disease. This has spurred a new wave of dietary guidelines advocating for reduced salt consumption, reflecting a broader shift towards health consciousness. The journey of salt from a precious resource to a health debate, mirrors the evolution of human societies. From ancient mummies to modern dining tables, salt has seasoned our history. This crystalline mineral, often taken for granted, has been a cornerstone of civilization. It's fascinating to recount how salt has not just flavored our food, but also shaped the contours of history. As we explored, salt was more than a culinary ingredient in the ancient world. 
It was an economic powerhouse, a currency that built and toppled empires. The salt roads, stretching vast distances, were not merely trade routes, but lifelines that connected and enriched cultures, facilitating the exchange of ideas and goods as diverse as silk, spices, and scholarly texts. In the chapters of conflict and colonization, salt was a spark and a resource, coveted and fought over, driving expansion and exploitation. Its role in industry and health further underscores its versatility and its critical place in the evolution of societies. Indeed, every granule of salt carries the weight of history, embodying the struggles and progress of humanity. So the next time you sprinkle salt, remember, you're wielding a substance that once built empires and shaped the world.